is down the road a piece. Good. No bounty? That's good. So now I know where uh, Guy Smar is going to be. And he's on his way. What's he on his way to? To this. So he's probably on his way down south. That's fine. We're gonna head to College Windhold. He's gonna do a loop around Skyrim. He's basically gonna go to Solitude, Markarth, uh, Riften, White Run, and Windhelm to inspect security arrangements and stuff like that. I don't know why he's going to stop over at Windhelm for, there's a rebellion going on, but you never know. I'm not the one to, to question the Emperor's security details. Right, let's see if Ferrada's back, which she should be. Here we have a problem. So I'm going to pause the recording and have a look at the solution and I'll be hopefully right back. Okay, um, my attempts to fix the issue have failed. Uh, you're supposed to see to Ferelda, uh, she'll be here. She gives you a test to pass, basically you either cast a spell or do a shout. Uh, however, I had to use the console. My done was set stage, main quest 205.60, which um, has had the not some necessary desirable effect of pointing me to the direction of uh, Sigmus. So I'm just going to head over to his uh, outpost. If that means I don't have to join the uh, College of Windhold, that's fine. Um, not a major problem. I don't know why the um, main quest is being so buggy. Uh, I've never known it to be as buggy as this beforehand. I've got the unofficial patches and stuff installed. I might have to look at my um, Skyrim installation, see if there's any files I'm missing or something's been corrupted or whatever. Because it shouldn't be behaving like this. I've done this main quest dozens of times, literally dozens of times, scary amounts of times. Dig, Dwemer, ah, they are to harm. The Elder Scroll gives it. I have seen enough to. But no. It is not in my possession. Here. Well, here as in this plane. <laughs> On the cosmological scale. One block lifts the other. You see this masterwork of the door. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. 
The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Okay. Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. Okay. So in there there's a basically a Dwemer lockbox and inside is the Ogma Infinium. Very powerful term of knowledge. And you're introduced once you do this quest, once I do this quest, uh, trans Transcending the Transmudane, or Discerning the Transmudane, or something like that. It will, um, it's a main quest for... I don't remember his name now. Maes Mora, who's important in Dragonborn Questline. The, um, the Dwemer are not actually dwarfs, they're elves. There are no dwarfs, as in Tolkien's Middle, Middle Earth kind of dwarfs. So, here we are, often. It's important this bit backstory, I'll go through. There's a whole group of people doing an uh, expedition here. Uh, Sula, Uma, Veli, Endrast, Yag, and two Khajiit. Jadar and Jazar. So, I'm not going to take that with me because I don't like carrying too many books, but we'll be introduced to them as we go through uh, Old Town. And that wine's getting to me because I can't even pick an adept block. <coughs> That's okay, I got a lot of picks, and it's only leveling up my lot of picking skill. Oh, guy, come on. Yay! Only like 10 picks broken. Now before doing this quest, it's a good idea to unload, which I haven't done. In fact, if you'll forgive me, I'm going to pause the recording and sell some junk. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've cleared out my uh, inventory, down to 131. I leveled up in the process to survive a combination of smithing and also speech. So let's put that perk to use. Uh, put in the health. Right. Ooh. A dead conjuration. That makes the bound bow a lot easier to summon. This reminds me. Are you naughty, naughty, naughty boy? You haven't been using the bound bow. The most powerful bow in the game, and you've not been using it. It is an actual fact that the Mystic Bow, that's the Bound Bow with Mystic Binding Puck, has got the most DPS of any bow in the game. Well, any bow that you can be equipped without the console. I haven't been using it. <sighs> Terrible. You'd think someone who's been playing this game for god knows how many hours as I have, you'd realise this fact. Oh, well, never mind. I also upgraded the Elven Bow I had as well, and I've dropped one of the bows I had in Breeze Home. Now, Breeze Home, I bought in the last set, I had a problem with. Uh, the bedroom furnishings weren't, were buggy, they weren't showing up properly. I've actually found the solution to that one. I basically, um, if you have a problem with any kind of 
furnishings not showing up and you have a PC version, use the console and with um, look at looks like the US USP uh, wiki whatever it's called it will list the um, ID codes for each room so you basically disable the um, the unupgraded form and enable the upgraded form and there you go took me a while to figure that one out but I've got it in the end like I said I don't normally like using the console I like to play the game as close to its original form as possible I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more. So shut up, shut up. Oh, yeah. Schumer addicts. Those are the two Khajiits. to summon the bamboo when you're not in combat. So it's giving your presence away. I'm going to have a Dalton spider deal within a minute. Old Town is a fairly long level, so I may not get a chance to finish it all tonight, but I'll try. Research notes. If you really want to read, just pause. But basically, they came across um, the Falmer while they're down here. And Falmer are unpleasant people. can hit the, bro the broad side of a barn door, sometimes. Let me have a spider up here somewhere. Bambo is, well at the moment it's doing 68, which is pretty good. And every other bow I've got, it's not as good. And that's with legendary difficulty. There you are, there, dear. Do try to keep up there. Ooh, where did you come from? Yeah. Where is it, dear? Now I 
always go into this with the best of intentions not to loop heavily and I always end up being overburdened by the end. So. Yeah, so he signed him up. He signed his mate up for this one to clean the skooma. And yeah, the supplies bring him down slowly. And they get trapped and obviously he suffers from skooma withdrawal symptoms and goes a bit bonkers. Something that I do like about the Elder Scrolls games, there's a lot of attention to detail. Which is nice. Centurions in a minute. Or spheres at least. No, not centurions, spheres. Here we are. Two of them. I'll let the idea build them. And I'll help out from the farm. Um, Dawn Guard quest line, the, the dwarven bolts are immensely useful. Like the Sonic the Hedgehog. Poison of Strength, Vigorous Healing, Plus Emerald. Lots of goodies up here. I'm not gonna take those. All those, put that, yes. Then jump down. So if you didn't have that already, you do now. more sneaky than Lydia is. She directs all the attention to her. What I'm going for is items that are... Well, I'm trying to go for items that are lightweight and... high value, as always. Let's go anyway. Right, what crap have I got? Mm, might just be that. Sniffing and chanting is two skills that are worth going for at each build you do, even if you don't fully use them. You can really handy. 
Not a requirement. We can get by about. And with smithing, alchemy and one hand all maxed out, you can create some really silly stuff. I mean... I might show you this on the side after I've done this. Mind that, that's a pressure plate. Oops, shot Lydian back again. So I'll stop doing that. around here. There are several ways back up to the surface doing this, so... There's a few lifts on the way. I'm not doing too bad. I'm not going too nuts. I'm sure I will regret saying that in a bit. No, I'm going to fail through. Slow ones, fast ones. You can jump over these. teleport behind me as I advance. When you're playing on hard difficulties it's a good idea to get the main quest out of the way with fairly quickly because when you get to the later levels a lot of the uh, undead you're going to come across are going to be more death lords and uh, Dread overlords and stuff like that, which are quite hard to kill, especially with the fact that you're quite impaired with the damage differential. So it's a good idea to at least get the main quest out of the line, out of the way with before you hit level 30, 35. You don't want to be taking the game much longer than that. And 
got Fulmer to deal with. I really hate Fulmer. No particular reason, it's just annoying. Soul gems like this are very cheap, or well, not cheap, they're very lightweight and also have a moderate value to them. So you can see by the blood, um, one of the guys from the expedition, I believe this is uh, Endros. Yeah. So what happened was, uh, eyeless creatures took us in our sleep, let's see, Falma, I don't know what happened, the sheets obviously been encountered beforehand. Managed to pick the log and made a break for it, um, but got split up. Uh, Sully yelled something about not leaving without finding what we came here for, blah 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 blah. Um, and the um, orc just basically threw him to safety, told him to run, but he got wounded, crawled here, and died. A shame. that one behind. Oil is good for uh, fortify or restore magic as potions. So I'm going to need. I don't think I'm going to have any more hostiles. Don't think so, anyway. Uh, Cause eggs, good for invisibility. I line the spider. the little um, pressure pads. They're these big swinging blade traps. Oh, just a word for the wise. Um, you can only level alteration and conjuration when there's enemies near. A good trick is to basically um, continuously conjure bound sword or oak flesh when enemies are near and they can't get to you and you can power level alteration. Or alteration you can do water breathing, just semi submerge yourself in water, like go down some steps into some water and then cast the spell continuously. Pretty good progress. It's good. Still got way to go yet, though. 